I think one of the most striking points um, was the, by the things that Ribix did was there were two different branches um, completely unrelated and he just opened them up. He just built a huge underground canyon area which uh, connected both areas, uh, both branches and it felt so, so revealing. Uh, it was such a genius strike for me, something I never thought about at this point and just showed me how much uh, you can do with interconnectivity, uh, something I didn't consider at all at this point. Mm, that's um, really interesting. Uh, yeah. Because the second thing... Sorry, I was just going to say that interconnectivity is something that uh, I associate with you the most. And I, I think um, most people have come to know you as, you know, the person who puts that kind of interconnectivity into their maps. So it's interesting to hear where that influence began and that it was with... Yeah, it, it was... It was definitely Rubik's who uh, just hit me toward this. It, it wasn't really on my mind at this point. The uh, other thing, I think this was the first lesson that Rubik's told me. He didn't, we didn't talk that much. Uh, I'm generally uh, rather intimidated uh, due to my not that good English at that point. Uh, back in 2014, it was even worse. And mm -hmm. so, uh, Um, he didn't talk that much and I rather looked at what he did and how he changed the stuff I made and made it so much better. Anyways, the, the inter interconnectivity was the first thing that um, he really taught me and the second thing was how we work with contrast. He also told me a few times uh, how much wonder you can or how much you can do with contrast and uh, you can get away with uh, a lot less texture as long as you make good contrast. And this yeah. was probably the second and uh, uh, another lesson. The, the other lesson that I took from him and uh, that I stick to even nowadays. Yeah, I think I remember uh, the specific area he's referring to even, so there was a... It was like the sort of underground area in the north side of the map, maybe, and then there was another sort of disconnected area to the west, and sort of instinctually I just figured it would make more sense to uh, connect the two areas, make it a, a bigger, more open thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think the the process for that, I guess, uh, Tarnica should definitely have more more credit for the map than I do, because I think he started with the initial layout, and then uh, I think maybe I messed with the texture theme for a bit, and we tossed it back and forth. And uh, I think like the the genesis of most of the rooms was on his end, and uh, most of what I did was maybe refinement or adding gameplay elements and. Uh, I do recall that towards the end, he really took the lead with uh, all the detailing around the outside, like the, the big blood ocean and all the little structures in there. Mm -hmm. uh, like that, that was all him. Uh, but yeah, I forget how many times we had sent it back and forth. It was uh, quite a few, but he definitely did the bulk, the bulk of the work, I think. Mm 